I'm fed up. A little bit upset, to be quite honest, because keyboard quality, keyboard experience has been suffering lately. It's an epidemic, in fact. It's all about butterflies and low profile and where's my clacks at? You're sacrificing a, 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 a large amount of, of tactile feedback in exchange for thinness in most cases on laptops, but even in some cases, like the keyboard that ships, for example, with an iMac, the Apple Magic Keyboard, very magical. Membrane style keyboard, very little feedback, super slim. For what reason? I mean, kind of just for looks, really. Look how thin it is. It's so pretty. I've been on a mission, some call it a rampage, rampage, to promote or at least look at and talk about the wonders of mechanical keyboards. Today, I'm on the fence a little bit. This product in front of me, it is a mechanical keyboard, but it claims to be the world's thinnest. So you have these worlds colliding. Thinness, mechanical key switches, can they coexist? Can it all work or are we compromising too much? They're trying to do it all. Now the one in front of me here, it's called Keychron, but I, I don't know if that's a name change or what, because underneath this sticker, you see it says Keytron. Keytron, Keychron. Look, it's like a Kickstarter campaign right now. They raised a few bucks. They're aiming to manufacture this for the masses the world's thinnest mechanical keyboard. Now this one in front of me is actually for Mac. It's got the Mac key layout, but they're making a Windows version as well that's also available. It's 120 bucks, so it will cost you a few of your dollars. But if we get this mechanical feedback and you're enjoying yourself and your, your life is improving, maybe it's worth the money, I don't know. So this one has a white backlight, but I think they've also got an RGB version. If that's your cup of tea, Let's crack this baby open. It may have solved all keyboard problems that have ever existed. The mashup, mechanical, thin, all together now. So this keyboard has Bluetooth, so it's wireless. Of course, you have a wired connection as well. It also comes with a keycap remover and some extra keycaps. Okay, so it's very thin. So this is what it looks like. This is the black version. So the deck here, made out of metal. You can see the key switches look a lot like Apple's own keyboard, but they're elevated. You can see the mechanical switch underneath there. And in this case, it's colored blue. Now these aren't cherry switches. I'm guessing from the blue coloring, they're probably some sort of MX blue knockoff. Now, because this is the Mac version, you have some Mac specific keys, including the command key. And of course, some of the multi-functional F keys up here. Yeah, we have brightness for the keyboard backlight. We have volume up and down and so on. I mean, in this case, it looks like there's even a microphone button. And, and I think that's like a Siri button. It is a Siri button. So very Mac specific on this particular unit. The controls are on the back side of the unit here. You can see you have a switch for Bluetooth off and cable connection. So obviously you can use it wireless or with the cable. Windows and Android or Mac and iOS, you can flick that switch in either direction. So this will still work with Windows, obviously. Your key layout will just be a bit different. And then also we have the wired connection, USB type C. Let's boot this thing up, see if we have any juice on here. I'm gonna go into Bluetooth mode. Oh, you see it lighting up right away. Should we kill the lights for a quick second? Okay, that is a bright backlight. I'm happy with that. Very well, that's a backlit keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. Stop fiddling. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It's, it's not the most satisfying I've ever felt, but it is not a little chiclet membrane situation. There is an actuation point, there's a clack. It's got, I mean, that's what you want. It's what you're looking for in life. Now, obviously, the volume level goes up. People that are nearby in your environment may get irritated. But as we all know, if you're the type of person who's into mechanical keyboards, there's no one that wants to be near you anyways. It's true. Now, this is kind of a hybrid as I look at it. Like, yes, it's a mechanical keyboard, but it doesn't have some of the things that I love about mechanical keyboards, like the big sort of weighted keys themselves with the, you know, the ones that kind of have the, well, what is that, concave? 
They got a little curvature to them. These are very flat keys, more in line with what you might be used to on something like a MacBook, but then just with the extra key travel to go with it. It's still not gonna be on the same level as like a nice, beefy kind of mechanical keyboard. It's in between the two. It's the style and the substance, it's the form and the function, trying, they're merging together in this particular product. All right, let's hook it up. First of all, for a thinness scale, like this is a very thin laptop. That is the Microsoft Surface Laptop 2. And as you can tell, I mean, these things are pretty much the same thickness. So that's pretty impressive. It's so thin, in fact, you could pop it into a bag. Like if you have a strictly mobile setup with like an iPad or something like that, this could go into a laptop bag quite easily, unlike some other mechanical keyboards. And to be honest, there are so few mechanical keyboards to choose from that are wireless to begin with. Anyhow, these two things go together quite nicely, even though this is the Mac version of the keyboard. Hmm. Hey, what can I say? I mean, it's getting the job done. That's for certain. The quick brown. How dare you? Do something. Oh. <laughs> you mean, are you sick of the brown fox, Jack? Wow. He's jumping over the dog. Someone especially posting on the internet who uses shocking and nihilistic speech and opinions that they themselves may or may not actually believe to gain attention and come across as more dangerous and unique person. Most, ed most edgelords are teenagers trying to seem overly cool or over casually apathetic. That has a thousand thumbs up and only 89 down. So I'm going with that. So then definitely edgelords like mechanical keyboards like 100%. Uh, you're gonna be able to hack out like f a lot more uh, in terms of edgy remarks with fewer errors, which let's be honest, if you're a Lord of anything, spelling errors are not gonna cut it, you know? If life is meaningless, you better not spell something, you know, you better get the spelling right. Anyhow, so there you have it, it is, uh a wonderful little device. It does what it says it's gonna do. It's a mechanical keyboard, which is slim and uh, portable. It's not cheap. You gotta really be into this thing if you're gonna go out of your way to pick this up. Nonetheless, it's on Kickstarter if you're into it. Myself, you know, to be honest, if I'm gonna go mechanical, I'm going all the way. I'm getting big keys, switches that clack. I'm doing the whole dance. Because this keyboard here, to be honest, even though it is mechanical, it's just, once you've got the flat keys, it's like you kind of lose some of the point of a mechanical keyboard in the first place. This only gets you part way there. But if you want something that's just a slight upgrade on the Apple keyboard, for example, the Magic keyboard, this is kind of in between the two. Maybe it, uh, I don't know, maybe it's more attractive to you. Nonetheless, there it is. Keytron, Keychron, Edgelord Special, Unbox Therapy, Jack, do you like it? Yes or no? <laughs> Not for Jack. <laughs>